Well, hello. Hi, mister. No problem with that? Well, hello. My dad says super mutants eat kids for breakfast. Dad's an idiot. I think he's just trying to scare me. Excuse me, Dr. Forsythe. Welcome back. Change your mind about donating some medical samples? Why do you need medical samples? It's for my research. The people of Vault 81 have been genetically isolated from the Commonwealth for many generations. I'm trying to determine what the genetic variation is between the two populations. I might, for some caps. All right. The overseer did give me a few caps for this. How does 50 caps sound? That hardly seems enough. Hmm. I suppose I can use the rest of my allotment. I can give you 100 caps. You'll have to do better than that to get your pound of flesh. You drive a hard bargain. I can give you 150, but not a cap more. Just have a seat, and I'll draw some blood. This will only take a sec. There. Hardly hurt a bit, eh? Here are the caps I promised you. Thank you. This will be a great help. Now, I need to get these prepared immediately. Hello, Dr. Forsythe. I've heard some doctors out there specialize in facial reconstruction. I can't imagine attempting surgery in those conditions. <clears throat> Our Commonwealth guest, welcome to the depot. And pardon the clutter, I don't get much time to tidy up these days. No time? Why not? Ugh, where to begin? When you're dealing with items that are all over 200 years old, work just accumulates like crazy. Some days it's all I can do to keep my head above water. But you probably don't want to hear about all that. Let me know if you want to take a look. Do you run this place by yourself? Well, there's my husband, Hull, but once you need him, he's nowhere to be found. I swear the cat is more help than he is. Why do you say that? I really shouldn't get into it. It's all right. You can tell me. Hull's just changed. He's never around, always claiming he has some errands to run. Back when we first met, he seemed devoted till the end. He actually taught me everything I know when it comes to fixing things. He'd spend every minute he could with me, and of course, Aaron, after we had her. Now, it's like we don't exist, and every conversation we have is a fight. Have you talked to him about it? I've tried, but he won't listen to me. He's always saying he doesn't have time. You'll get past this. Marriage can be hard work. He'll come around. I hope you're right. It'd be nice if he was even around long enough to discuss it these days. Enough about me. I should get back to work. But let me know if I can help you with anything. What do you sell? Odds and ends. A bit of everything, I suppose. But no weapons. Only security guards carry weapons around here. I'll think about it. All right. Let me know if I can help out. Hey. Anything I can get you today? Not today. I'm here if you do. Looking for something? I have more stuff than I know what to do with. I might be interested in buying or selling. Great. I have all sorts of odds and ends. Oh, hi there. Oh, you're a bad guy. <laughs> Jeez. Are you a friend or enemy? Enemy, I guess? Friend or enemy? Hangman's Alley. That's it. Spread out. Oh, I find know him. you're here. I'll find you. No need to hide. It'll all be over. Fucking hide from me? Dead. Yeah. Almost. <laughs> Ooh, that was so close. Hey, man's alley. Cleared. Chain door. Oh, hi. <laughs> Got a bottle cap mine. Someone there. Oh, where did this guy come from? Oh, lovely. I buy and sell. Just put up everything you got and let's see if we can make a deal. Let's see what you got. A couple raiders right there. Yep. Legendary raider. Bye. Martyr's metal right leg. Temporarily slows time during combat when you're at 
or less health. Gotcha. This shouldn't take long. You were right. It didn't take long at all. Ow. Very rude. Traffic light standing up perfectly straight. Whee! Oh, those are very light. Vault Tech lunchbox with Donna's name on it. Thanks, Donna. Hi there. Gotcha. Backstreet Apparel. Baseball, national pastime, Boston religion. Backstreet Apparel. You have any more stories like that? How much time you got? <laughs> yeah, I have a few. Let me see. A couple years back, before I met Clutch, me and a couple friends found a young kid on the north side of the Charles. He wasn't that young, probably around 18 or so. Anyway, after hanging out with him for a while, it started to get dark, so I built a fire. I kid you not. As soon as I lit the first match, the kid screams, What are you doing? And knocks the match out of my hand. He knocked the match out of your hand? Why did he do that? Shh. I'm telling a story. So, yeah, he knocks the match out of my hand. I was so surprised that I swung and broke his nose. He said he was sorry. And get this. He said he was afraid of fire. <laughs> oh, man. He was afraid of fire? I just told you he was afraid of fire. You keep interrupting me, it's irritating. As soon as he told me that, I thought of something. I quickly apologized for hitting him and told him it's nothing to be ashamed of. That night, me and the others got this kid so drunk so fast, he passed out within an hour. We then dragged him to the banks of the Charles. We also dragged six or seven mattresses and tied them in a circle with one in the middle. Mattresses? What did you need the mattresses for? Really? Did you seriously just ask me that question? It's a goddamn story. All you have to do is listen. So yeah, we tied all these mattresses together, and then we placed one mattress in the middle and put the kid on it. We doused all the mattresses with gas, except his, and then lit them on fire and pushed them down into the water. We followed the burning mattresses down the river, laughing our asses off waiting for the kid to wake up after five minutes we realized the kid wasn't going to wake up so we all started throwing rocks at him after a couple of hits the kid's awake at this point the flames were huge <laughs> imagine what it must One have been like for him waking up not knowing where he was and all he sees is fire the kid tries to stand up but can't get his footing on the soggy mattress at this point I'm laughing so hard I fall down. That is crazy. I bet he overcame his fear of fire. Huh? Trial by fire? Nah, he never did. Turns out the kid couldn't swim. Anyway, that's that. Didn't see that coming. What a stupid story. There, guys. Thank you. Aw. The teddy bear reading a newspaper on the toilet while wearing glasses. Adorable. Oh. Fell in. <laughs> you don't see me. <laughs> you really don't. Okay. Show your face. Come on, I dare you. You see nothing. I am invisible. I am the knight. 
Hi. <laughs> oh, I know you're here. I'll find you. Are you sure you know I'm here? Come on out. I'll make it nice and quick. My second Sandman kill. Gotcha. Hell yeah. I don't think it gave me XP for that, which is very silly. What do we got here? Bingo. Grognak the Barbarian, lost in the snows of lust. Critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks permanently do 5% more damage. Backstreet apparel, cleared. It's like a rocket launcher hidden in here. Ooh, fully stocked. Nuka Cola fridge. Ooh, whoop, whoop. Something just popped out of the ground. Oh, we got Mirelux. Come on out, ugly. Charles View Amphitheater. Excuse me. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. Do you ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? Why do you ask? Because if you are that kind of person, you've come to the right place, neighbor. We call ourselves the pillars of the community. We're a pretty new movement, so you may not have heard of us. But we're growing fast all across the Commonwealth, and you can be part of this exciting future. Step right this way, and I'll be happy to tell you all about our movement and how you can be a part of it. What's your movement all about? I'm glad you asked. Our mission is nothing less than to transform the entire Commonwealth one life at a time. Maybe you've seen pictures or heard stories about what life was like back before the Great War. Maybe you've wondered, why can't life be like that again? Well, neighbor, I'm here to tell you that it can be. What do you say? Ready to take that first step into a new life? I have some more questions first. Of course you do. And I'm here to answer them. Shoot. What if I change my mind after I join? There's absolutely no obligation. But trust me, once you see how your life is transformed, you won't want to leave. Believe it or not, we have never had a single pillar leave after joining. There's not many groups like ours that could make that claim, are there? Anything else you're wondering about before we get started? What do I have to do to join your movement? That's the beauty of it, neighbor. You don't have to do anything, except have a willing spirit and open your heart to the possibilities. Anything else you're wondering about before we get started? What's your movement all about? Our mission is nothing less than to transform the entire Commonwealth one life at a time. Maybe you've seen pictures or heard stories about what life was like back before the Great Sure. Maybe you've wondered, why can't life... Anything else you're wondering about before we get started? I don't have any more questions. Good. Then I hope you're ready to take your first step into your new life as one of the pillars of the community. Yes, I am. All right, then. Fantastic. You won't regret it, I promise you. We haven't had a single pillar leave the movement since we started. I'm always excited to welcome a new member into our fold. Excuse me. I hope you decide to become one of the pillars of the community. We're always looking for new members. Don't worry. Hello, neighbor. Don't fight. Don't worry. I don't fight. <laughs> All righty. I hope you're as excited as I am. This is one of my favorite parts of the job, getting to welcome new members into our movement. The first step is simple. You have to learn to give up your attachment to material possessions in order to gain the ability to have true wealth, health, and happiness. Just go ahead and give me everything you own, and I'll initiate you as a first-level pillar of the community. What do I get in return for giving you everything I own? You're still stuck in old thinking. You're still clinging to your old life. But that's what you came here to give up. And the first step is to shed yourself of your material possessions. You've got to be kidding. You want me to give you everything I have? The first step is the hardest, neighbor. But it's the only way to cast off your old life and start on the road towards your future health, wealth, and happiness. 
Don't you think that's worth a small temporary sacrifice? I'm walking out of here. Your choice what you want to do about it. Ah, you're not worth the trouble. Plenty of easier marks. Get out of here before I change my mind. Uh, <clears throat> we don't have anything to talk about. That's it. Oh, who are you? You must be Imogene. Don't tell me. Jack sent you. You're Jack's sister? I was expecting someone a bit younger. You really know how to flatter a lady, don't you? Just to be clear, I'm Jack's younger sister, the baby of the family. Once I get home and get some of Jack's serum, I'll be back to my usual stunning self. Jack has a serum that reverses aging? It's more like it halts aging. I started taking it when I was 32, so normally that's what I look like. You'll see once I get my treatment. I was well known as one of the bells of Boston society, back when there was any. What happens if you don't get more serum? Oh, I don't think we need to worry about that. I've gone without a treatment much longer before with no lasting effect. Actually, there isn't any serum left. Raiders ambushed the last delivery. Well, that's just typical. Jack wants to be in charge of everything, but can't even manage to keep up reliable serum deliveries. I'm so disappointed in Thomas. He seemed so interesting at first. But after we came here, he turned out to be just another brute. He actually thought it could force me to join his absurd cult. Your boyfriend Thomas was a real charmer. I was done with him. And he shouldn't have locked me in here. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first. I just need to have this door teleport through me. Excuse me. You can tell Mother I'll be home soon. Good day to you! Stay off the grass. <laughs> Edward, switch to single sideband modulating. Can you hear me? Edward, switch over to the Hartley modulator. Do you copy? Gene, now. How's this? Oh, <laughs> that's done it. Edward, what's going on there? We're under attack. They're inside the building. Inside? Can you keep them out of the basement? I'm trying, Jack. I I've never seen raiders this Sorry, things are a little busy around here right now. Listen, if they're inside the building, you have to go to the office and shut down the elevator. You can't risk them getting to Lorenzo. Got it. Office, elevator. You better round up whoever you can and get them. Hello? Edward? Come in. Edward! Ah! There's no signal at all. I've lost him. What's happening, Jack? If these people are inside Parsons, if they free him... Don't worry, I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. That isn't helping, Mother. And as I recall, using the serum was your idea, not mine. So what are you going to do? I said I'll handle it. I'm thinking. Oh. What do you want? What's going on? That was Edward. He's at Parsons, the old asylum. They're under attack by raiders. It's strange. The guards have held off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. What happened? The guards at Parsons called in that they were under attack. Edward went to help. I've only just been able to raise him, briefly. I didn't get much, but it sounds like the situation there is nearly out of control. I wonder if these could be the same raiders that stole that last shipment. If some of them had used the undiluted serum, it could explain their unusual success against Edward's men. What exactly does this serum do? I suppose it's time you knew. The main benefit of the serum is to halt aging. My family and I are all over 400 years old. But it also confers other... side effects, especially in the undiluted form that the raiders stole. It increases strength and resistance to all kinds of physical damage. So at least some of these raiders may be much more dangerous than the ones you're used to dealing with. Where do you get this serum from? My father, Lorenzo Cabot, is confined in Parsons. He became dangerously unstable after handling an artifact he found on an archaeological dig in Arabia. 
he gained various seemingly paranormal powers, as well as becoming increasingly irrational and violent. In the end, I had no choice but to confine him, for his own safety, as well as ours. Jack, are you sure it's wise telling him all this? In the course of my attempts to cure him, I discovered that the artifact had introduced uh, anomalies into his blood. So the source of his insanity is also the basis of the treatments that have prolonged all our lives. The irony isn't lost on me, but if he were to escape from Parsons, I would lose my father forever. I will not allow that to happen. Not to mention that the artifact has made him paranoid, homicidally violent, and endowed with extraordinary abilities. Exactly what abilities does he have? Uh, enhanced strength, unusual resistance to most kinds of physical damage. Oh, and a kind of local telekinesis, which appears to be projected by the artifact itself. That's why I've built a dampening field into his cell. Which is why we really need to stop these intruders before they turn it off. Hold on, weren't you off looking for Imogene? Did you find her? Yeah, I found her. Hard to believe she didn't want to come home to her loving family. That's truly none of your concern. At least there's one small comfort on this terrible day. You'll be wanting to be paid, of course. Edward usually handles these things. Caps is what you use for currency, isn't that right? Here, I hope that's the right amount. Before we go, I need you to understand something. When we get to Parsons, you need to do exactly what I tell you. Nothing more, nothing less. Is that clear? Why is that so important? If these intruders have gotten past Edward's men, they may have freed Lorenzo. I'm the only one who understands exactly how to deal with him. Is that clear enough for you? Got it. Good. Make sure you have whatever you'll need for a serious battle. I'll wait for you outside. Jack, be careful. And try not to hurt him. I love Father at least as much as you do. But you know as well as I do that if he gets free, there will only be one option. Don't let it come to that, please. I'll do my best, Mother. And if Imogene finally comes home, for God's sake, don't let her leave again until I get back. Now I really do have to go. Hello, Wilhelmina. I don't need anything right now, thank you. Weird little museum. Massachusetts Surgical yes. Journal. Better living through chems. Permanently inflict 2% more limb damage. Ooh, a mini nuke. And a fat man. It says that Jack wants to fight. Ready? Let's go. Just to be clear. Ooh. Under <laughs> Got behind you, buddy. There's random dogs. I refuse to let that happen after spending so long trying to cure him. There we go. Level up. Level 91. Level 3 of steady aim. Hip fire damage is improved when firing any gun. Okay, Jack, have you forgiven me? Men seem to have given a good account of themselves, but not good enough. <gasps> Jack, please stop shooting me. Excuse me. The trap has respawned. Huh. Legendary Mythic Death Claw. Holy crap. There you go, big guy. Get an assassin's metal right arm on him. Reduce damage from humans by 15%. Get his friend Alpha Death Claw. No problem. Arson State Administration. The door's blocked.
blocked from the other side somehow. We'll have to find a way around. Nothing but dust and junk. Oh, it's gonna be worth Wait, it. Wait, listen. If lefties right about Get ready. Seeing where that new juice is coming from, hell yeah, it's gonna be worth it. How'd you get any of it anyway? Lefty doesn't even like you. All right, cashed in some favors with people who Lefty does like. You just saw it because you never got a taste. You better be right. And Lefty better share it out fair, or it's not just me that's going to be sore. Don't steal my kills, Jack. Can't pick this. Baltic lunchbox with Acadia written on it. Ooh, and a quantum inside. Where do you assholes keep coming from? Sorry, Jack. Get out of the way. I need the XP. You don't. A couple rad roaches up ahead, bud. Legendary. Crippling tire iron. 50% more limb damage. Hey, Jack. I hope Edward is all right. Unchain the door. Should I look this way or should I look that way? Maybe I'll look this way. No, this way's better. Edward, how badly are you hurt? I'm not dead yet, but I don't think I can get up. You kept them from using the elevator? Yeah. I, I sent the elevator down to the basement like you wanted. And shut it down. Good. Shot quite a few of them before they decided to leave me alone in here. Yeah. <sighs> Haven't seen anybody for quite a while. I think. It's hard to keep track of time. Are you sure you can't get up? I could really use your help. Yeah, Jack. I'm pretty damn sure. Well, then don't worry about it. Me and your friend here will have to take care of things ourselves. They've definitely reached the basement. Although I don't understand how they knew how to get past it. It doesn't matter now. We'll have to go through the abandoned part of the building. It looks like the Abremelin field is still functioning. Although several of the security doors in the basement have already been breached. We'd better hurry if we want to stop them. They seem determined to reach Lorenzo for some reason. I'm not going any further until you tell me what's going on. I suppose it's time you knew. It's hard to overstate exactly how dangerous the artifact has made Lorenzo. In addition to being homicidally psychotic, he has also gained enhanced strength and unusual resistance to most kinds of physical damage. He also commands a kind of local telekinesis, which appears to be projected by the artifact itself. Now, we need to get to the basement before these intruders find a way to set Lorenzo free. Follow me. Be careful, Jack. You too. You okay? I'll be all right. Don't worry about me. I just need to rest here a minute. <laughs> just bounce the trash can right off his head. Check it out. Charisma bobblehead. Yes. Charisma has permanently been increased by one. I currently have 13 charisma. That's fantastic. <laughs> he definitely just walked into a landmine. Wait, where's his other arm? The hell? <laughs> his arm is going through his body. Oh, it just corrected itself. Penetrating calibrated powerful lever action rifle. Ignores 30% of the target's damage and energy resistance. Very cool. We never used this wing. Nobody's been in here for decades. There's no telling what we'll run into. And he goes through the wall <laughs> instead of the door. Parsons State Insane Asylum. Let's hope we can find a way through. The utility elevator is on the bottom floor. Come on. 
This is my property. You are trespassing. Ew. What the hell? Terrifying. Only a fucking coward hides. He loves it. Look at him go. I'm coming to see what that was. So if you're like a ghost or whatever, just, just leave me alone. Get some. Oh, look where I'm oh. keep coming from. Oh. Oh. Jax is standing there, letting this guy shoot him. Incredible. It's called shooting straight, rookie. Resilient assault rifle, 150 plus damage resistance while reloading. <laughs> That's crazy. Mysterious. Dumbass coward. Boys, oh, look at this goofy guy. Get back in there. Come on. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, no thanks. <laughs> Time is of the essence. Oh boy. What the fuck is that? Like a mannequin orgy in here. Good. The old utility elevator is still working. This will take us to the basement. Come on, this is the only way down. Over here. Going down? Going down. Excuse me. They managed to free Lorenzo before I can stop them. It's not worth thinking about. Kill everyone you see. Don't hesitate. We can't let them release Lorenzo. More of them? Those idiots are trying to shut down the Abremelin. That's the only thing keeping Lorenzo from breaking out of there. We need to get in there and stop them. Hello, Jack. It's been a long time since I've had the pleasure of a personal visit. Father, I will stop this. My powers have grown, Jack. The artifact still has so much to teach me. Once I am free, I will be happy to teach you too. You know I can't let you out until I can remove the artifact. Let me see. Lucifer's balls. They've locked down all the security doors. I'll have to open them one by one from here while you work your way down the hallway. Quickly now! That's right. You need to shut down the containment field in order to open the door. You get this open, everybody gets ahead of the juice. You'd best hurry it up. My son is quite capable of stopping you if he gets in here. That's right. You need to shut down the containment field in order to open the door. Your men upstairs don't seem to have been of much use. They're almost through. Get that door open. You're running out of time. I'm opening the main door. Hurry. The oh, is down. Oh, Apparently, oh, even the simplest oh, task was beyond your oh, capabilities. Oh, that's it. Lefty. I can feel my strength returning. Now, I will finally be free. There's still one chance. I just need a moment to enter the failsafe codes. It's not too late. It will take some time for him to regain his powers. We still have a chance to stop him. Don't listen to my son. He's the crazy one. You know this. Look at what he's done to me. I built a fail safe in the containment grid. It's the four Abremelin generators to manual override, and I can flood his cell with a lethal dose of Zeta radiation. Do the right thing. Open this door and let me out. Everything my son has told you about me is a self-serving lie. That must be obvious now. Hell yeah. Found a bunch of mysterious serums. Perfect. He's luck dying. Do the right thing. Let me out of here. Don't listen to him. Do not let him out. Think back on everything Jack has told you. Who do you think is really the crazy one here? Please. Just open the door. You fool! 
Hey. Father, don't do this. Too late, Jack. Why don't you wait there so that we can have that little chat that's so long overdue? Get away while you can. It seems Jack doesn't want to talk to his father. We'll have to kill him, you know. And all the rest of them. How long have you been locked up in here? My loving son trapped me here in the year of our Lord, 1898, so, uh, almost 400 years. I think you were about to agree to helping me kill Jack and the rest of my traitorous kin, yeah? Say I do help you kill Jack and the rest of your family. What's in it for me? What Jack stole from me, I will give to you freely. The gift of immortality. But first, I have some unfinished business to deal with. With your help, I trust. Meet me at Cabot House. I'm sure that's where the rats will congregate. Hi. I'll meet you at Cabot House. Let's Massachusetts go. Surgical Journal. Yes. Let's play doctor. Permanently inflict 2% more limb damage. Awesome. Another mysterious serum on the floor. Nice. Hmm. Hey. We'll talk. After my family is dealt with. Wow, he did not mind that whatsoever. Lorenzo's tough. Level up. Level 92. Gonna put a point into agility. So now we have five agility. Level up. Level 93. Going to put a point into action, boy. There's no time to waste your action points regenerate 25% faster. Level up. Level 94. Action boy, level 2. Your action points now regenerate 50% faster. Damn. Have you lost your mind? Why did you release Lorenzo? Is Lorenzo here yet? No, of course not, or we'd all be dead already. Now answer the question. Why did you free him? I wasn't sure who was telling the truth, you or him. And now he's coming here to kill all of us. Are you satisfied? This is my fault. I hired this idiot and he betrayed you. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't just kill you right now. If I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead already. I can see why you like him, Edward. He has such a way with words. <gasps> oh my! Ah, you're all here. Good. How, how did you get in here? Why so surprised? This is my house, after all. I like what you've done with the place. Lorenzo, thank God you finally escaped. Jack just wouldn't listen. Be you silent. know I would never. You have all betrayed me. Kept me a prisoner and fed off me like vampires to prolong your pathetic, worthless lives. That is now over. Your time is up. Please, Lorenzo, it wasn't me. It was Jack. Um, oh God. okay, oh God. I got him. Lorenzo. This can't be happening. Got Lorenzo's suit. Now do you see? I told you what would happen if Lorenzo got free. How could I have known he would be so dangerous? You could have listened to me. I made it very clear how important it was for you to follow my instructions. But it could have been worse. Much worse. At least nobody died. Small miracle, really. I only wish I'd been able to find some way to cure my father before it came to this. I still believe that with a little more time, I might have found some way to remove the artifact. But it doesn't matter now. What now? I need to bury my father and clean up this mess. I won't be back to Parsons again. Before you go, you did make the right choice in the end. So I feel I owe you something for your help. I think this is fair compensation. I won't be needing your services after this.
You don't need me anymore. No. Without Parsons to run, I don't think I'll need such an extensive staff. Saving your family's gotta be worth more than that. You know, I was so close to understanding the artifact. Now that I can study it directly, I may be able to do something useful with it. Come back in a week or so. All my research may not have been completely in vain. Aye. At least no one was killed. Your father was killed. I melted him. You're going to kill me. Kill all of us. Excuse me. I don't understand why he was so angry at all of us. It was for his own good. Couldn't he see that? I always knew we shouldn't be using the serum. But who could resist such a temptation? I guess Jack knew what he was doing. Keeping Lorenzo locked up like that. Whoa. Big glowy Deathclaw. Legendary Chameleon Deathclaw. Hey, buddy. Not very strong, though. You're getting red. Hunter's 44 pistol does 50% more damage against animals. Bye bye. Go for a swim. Nice view. So I've returned to the crashed UFO because I guess you're supposed to follow this green blood. Alien blood leads us right into here. Very sharp teeth. All right, hold still. Welcome to Earth. Alien blaster pistol. Perfect. Hell yeah. 296 rounds for it. I don't have to think about that anymore. <laughs> 